Welcome Woo! back. Welcome Episode back. two. We're I'm back excited. And party. We're your hosts. I'm Rachel. I'm Walker. We're back here at my tiny overpriced apartment. We're chilling in the living room. We got our trusty brick background behind us. And you know. we've upgraded a notch. We got oh yeah, fancy got new our mugs. mugs. Yeah. Hey, clink, clink. But clink. keep it traditional. Still got Bernie. Yeah, got still got a little my little trinkets there on yeah. the side. But uh, we you know we spent our whole budget on those pretty sick mugs. So if the stream starts getting a little wonky, uh, don't blame us. The mugs are really cool. Okay, come on. I think it's time we get to the news. What do you think? Yeah, let's get into it. All right. A British YouTuber revealed he makes 2,000 pounds a week sleeping on live stream while fans try to wake him up. What an amateur, said Joe Biden. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is still in hot water after liking Facebook comments calling for Nancy Pelosi's execution. In response, GOP leaders requested that she stand back and stand by. Mandalorian actress Gina Carano announced she's working on a new film after being fired because of her conservative social media posts. Coming soon to theaters, her new film, How to Lose Your Career in 10 Days. A woman went viral after she ran out of hairspray and used Gorilla Glue instead. Coincidentally, Walker did the same thing, which is why he's, well, you guys can see for yourself. All right. UMD's Department of Transportation Services will be lending empty parking spaces to artists for the new Dots Arts Parks initiative. Several commuter students said they weren't excited about the initiative now that they have to park next to this. It looked pretty exciting to me, but uh, I, don't I don't know. In a recent press release, video game Euro Truck Sim 2 said we do not take a stand for or against vaccines. Following their lead, other games released similar statements, including... We do not take a stand for or against terrorism from Animal Crossing. All right. Rudy Giuliani posted a tweet where he referred to the leader of China as Xi Jinping instead of Xi Jinping. Uh, wow, that's both so wrong. Everybody knows all Chinese people are named Cho Chang, according to J.K. Rowling. A Myanmar woman went viral on Tuesday after unknowingly filming her dance routine in front of a literal coup. Check it out. Turns out it's a lot more common than you think. Yeah, but we actually have footage of another bunch of coups that people were dancing in front of. Let's take a look. <laughs> Pretty sure I just dropped it like it's hot on Ronald Reagan's assassination. <laughs> 